Good evening and salutations, my Bambi fans. You know, so this is something that has been an issue with Bambi. It's happened a couple of times. It's happened a lot of times. Sometimes they have three acts. And usually one of the acts is fluff. Patty. You know, you saw it when you had um, Deacon and... Um, Count Boosie, you know, this little comedy sketch routine that they were spent there doing. It was like, why does this matter? You know, why is this important? <laughs> like, seriously, why? I'm trying to get the glare. Um, why is this important? The answer is, it's not. And, you know, you're watching this episode, and you gotta ask yourself, did you really care about the um, Brooke and Ridge and Taylor scene. And I'll be honest, I, I really didn't care. They talked about RJ, and then Taylor talked about how the family is in harmony and in peace. Only thing about that was probably what she said, about the harmony and peace stuff. So, Steffi is noticing some behavior that she is not feeling. Okay. Why did they allow Petra to talk? Why did they allow Petra? Here's the thing. Even before I knew, <clears throat> even before I knew she was going to sit there and speak and ask Thomas out in this very awkward, cringeworthy way, I caught it. And I'm just like, oh, it's Petra. Now, granted, for some odd reason, I don't know, maybe this is part of the contract where they just get the models to sit there and speak. Um, which I wouldn't really have a problem with it, but it's one of those things where I feel like, man, this must be like an HR nightmare. I mean, all they really do is sit there and hit on these guys that are um, working with them. Ooh, let's go get drinks. Ooh, let's go do something. Are you free? Are you single? It's like, oh my God, seriously? I just... Uh, you know, I should be happy that the sun is out and it's bright and everything, but like even through my blinds, it's still just <sighs> so hopefully. All right. It's like why do they have a speak for it? So of course, once again for the thousand time. Hey Thomas, you wanna go out and do something? Well, let's see, Petra. You asked this guy out like, I don't know, four hundred something times and he said no. You ever read that book or watched that movie? Maybe he's just not into you. No? We're just going to just have to sit and slop through more of those scenes? Ooh, great. That's exciting. Now, you know, like I said, Steffi is seeing some stuff that she's not happy. You know, Thomas being all grateful and everything and hope is not there just looking into his eyes and talking and stuff. And it is one point where she leaves, right? This is after she talks to Thomas. Because she asked Thomas, because of all the overreaching and all the super compliments that he was giving her, like he's been giving her all the time, it's like, yeah, are you fixated on this chick? Are, like, are, are you still fixated on her? No? All right, cool. All right, just, just double check. They so laughed, have a good time, and she realized, you know what, listen, you want to up and up, you're good. She leaves, because Hope goes to check the numbers for the pre-orders. Hope comes back, and she's all like, you know, the pre are great, and <clears throat> I want to thank you this time and the third. And um, Steffi comes back, because I guess she's walking through the halls, just, you know, being a boss and everything. And she overhears just how excited she is, and, you know, just her tone and her energy. And I don't know if she, I don't remember if she actually... Um, looked in the door and stuff like that, but maybe even before she was like, Oh, so you look into his eyes. She comes back in there. She ain't happy. She ain't happy. Now, even when she left at one point, she just looked at him like, so She came back. And that's the thing about this actress. I, I went, well, I went in on her about her acting skills, right? And sometimes it just makes me wonder, is. Was she just a bad actress? Or was like did she just not hit the, the notes that she hit? 
Or was it just the dialogue in the script that she was given? Because uh, I think she's actually pretty decent. I, I just sometimes I look at the dialogue that they give her and it's just like, wow, this is really bad. <laughs> it's like I'm starting to realize it's like, you know, maybe it's not her, maybe it's just dialogue. Because there's something about when she comes in the room, like when she looks at someone, her expressions on her face. It's absolutely priceless. Okay. She just has that look. It's, it's very hard to describe. I remember, you know, she was arguing with Thomas and Taylor was there. And she just, the way she rolled her eyes was just hilarious. Anyway, she gives one of her, her death glares. And she's like, yeah, I ain't liking this. And she pretty much kind of calls it out. She's like, yo, listen, my, my brother's doing great. And you're the one that has a problem. You know, and I'm not going to sit there and let you derail him. All his hard work that he's sitting there doing to go down the drain because he wants to sit there and flirt with, flirt with him. She asked him straight up. I mean, she asked her straight up. Do you have feelings for him? And she's like, no, 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 no. I mean, dead ass serious. Like, I'm not joking. I want to hear an answer. Do you have feelings for him? And she just has that, that shock look on her face. Like, she's trying to really think of some stuff. Think of some words that she can draw from that brain. That she can use to be like, hey, no, it's not really that. And, you know, I just, I kind of can't wait for that on Monday. Good cliffhanger. Good cliffhanger. I also didn't give it that much. I mean, you didn't have the cliffhanger that the other two had. But I'm very curious to sit there and see what she's going to say. So, um, now you got Liam and Wyatt talking about hope and her trusting nature and, you know, Deacon turned out pretty great. He's turning his life around. And, you know, it's because Hope sits in and sees the best in people. And, um, you know, Liam, Liam says something that's important. He's like, yo, listen, it's not to sit there and say you can't be concerned. You just can't sit there and keep bringing them up every time you were Hope. You know? Because at that point, you're not just letting Thomas live and you have rent free. But, you're with her. You're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, bringing Thomas into the conversation all the time doesn't mean that you're together. It just means that you're sitting there talking about Thomas. So, you know, Liam said that, you know, he's going to be having to watch for I and everything. And the sad part, <laughs> the sad part this time is that he's gotten it wrong. Now, here's the thing. This is something that DC has taught me a little trick they used to me. When they say when they mention something often, pay attention to it. Because you guys have to remember, Thomas at one point he said this to Liam and he said this to Stephanie. He was like, even if she threw herself at me, I wouldn't I wouldn't take her. Now of course, you know, Stephanie's like, hey, 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 whoa. You don't, you don't joke like that. All right? it's, it's a little bit too soon for that. Like, as in, like, you, you should just not really say that for, like, a good couple of years. Make it eight. Make it an even number. More realistic number. Hey, right, screw it. Make it ten. But, you know, she, she was like, no, don't joke around like that. But you guys have to remember, this is the second time. When they give you a clue that obvious, it's, it's noting. It's, it's a note to pay attention. Um... Little trick that DC that I picked up from DC, DC Toad Sanctuary. Um, oh, yeah. They, they both got shown the um, picture that RJ drew of Reg, and of course, Taylor and, and um, Brooke got a good laugh. So, yep. <sighs> hmm. I wonder what RJ is going to sit there and do. When he finds out this time, and this just sounds totally weird saying out loud, that his sister is having feelings for his half-brother. So I'll just think about that sentence for a minute. His sister is having feelings for his half-brother. 
Yeah, because those two share a brother and a sister. <laughs> That's weird. Um, I mean, I know they're not blood related, but it's just like, dude, sis, what the hell? <laughs> huh. it, it 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 takes me back to the Gotham Girl days, and not the new iteration, not not um the next gen one. I mean, the first Gotham Girl. And if you watched the ending, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you did watch the ending, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, I feel like that's about it. So, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe tonight. Me and if everything goes well, DC Soul Sanctuary is going to have a conversation. We're going to be talking about the soaps. We're going to be simply reflecting on um, our time on YouTube. It's going to be a very interesting conversation. You know, I always sit there and say I can't reply back to the people in the chat. But you definitely want to sit there and tune in for this one. And if you watch DC Soap Sanctuary's video, um, you know exactly what I'm talking about and why I'm, um, I've been talking about the other three reviews. So. Getting kind of late. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Y and R, but, you know. Yeah. I'm going to sit there and try to make it work. I'm going to try to swing it. I don't know. Um. I may not be able to do it, though. <laughs> but, um, I want to at least do why not. I mean, I want to at least do BNB. Now, sometimes I'll sit there and be like, well, it's not really that much time. I can't really do it. And then an episode like yesterday happened, and I'm just like, Elena, you... <sighs> you hypocritical... And then I'm just fired up and like... All right, let's roll it. So, I guess time will sit down. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.